All right, so this week I've been learning, uh, practicing more uh, CAD drawing, how to contour, and this is my first pro why well, not my first project. And this is one of the projects that I actually drew this profile a long time ago by hand with pencil, and then later I trans or I then later I made it into 2D using DraftSight, and now it's 3D using this uh, application Fusion 360. And then I put some scales on it, and I've used the coloring features to experiment with it. This is obviously brass, and then this is a black rubber scale material. But I was using it to get a contour. Instead of just rounding the edges with a little fillet like I had done previously, worked on this to get a contour all the way across. <clears throat> and then let's see that was earlier in the week and then I did this one put a handle on this trench knife or a little scale on there not really impressed with that one I'll do some more working on this one but each time I, you know, I mean you learn as you go and so if if you're not willing to make mistakes and only satisfied with perfection on your first try, then you're not going to get very far. Alright, this one I've already shown a video of. It came out pretty darn good. I'm going to actually make two of these when I get home. A with, I'll be using the uh, G10 on those for this. And then I did this just to play around with some colors. This is the push dagger. This is the black oxide with a titanium nitride gold finish on there. If you're interested in looking at these knives more, I'll put links in the uh, description of the video that you can have an interactive link to look at them if you're interested in that. And then I tried another color scheme on this one, a black and red. That's a anodized aluminum red with the black nitride on there. And let's see. Then I spent some time doing scales. I Then I uh, tried some scales on this little... BK Gemini. This is the brushed st stainless finish appearance there. Got a, a carbon fiber with an aluminum or with a uh, carbon fiber with a red outside. So that's a carbon fiber inlay. And let's see, oh, this is the screw. I also learned this week how to download hardware uh, one of the places that has a lot of their hardware catalog in CAD files is McMaster's car so if you want to download hardware to put into your drawings hardwares fittings valves pumps all kinds of stuff they have that you can download already the CAD drawing and just plug it straight into your drawing it's really simple but that's the fastener it's a number six 632 quarter inch long countersunk Torx head so you just copy and paste that wherever you want it this is my uh, maker's mark that I had a metal stamp made out of and I'm not very good at obviously this is a decal that there's a feature up here under insert that you can insert a decal and so this is a JPEG picture that I inserted on there just that's going to be the approximate size and approximate location of my maker's mark. Let's see, get that straightened up. <coughs> and so that uh, metal stamp is waiting for me at home. I haven't had a chance to see it or use it yet. 
Got that from Infinity Stamps in California. Oh, okay, you can see that I've just stuck some yellow on that. It used to be red. And then yesterday and part of today I spent um, just coming up with different color schemes for the scales. This is over here. This is the right side. This is the two pieces. That's the actual scale. And this is the inlay piece or the insert. And this is the left side in the insert. And so they would actually go through this, this slot area here, and I'll put a little post in there that's threaded so that it will take the screws, and the screws will meet in the middle. You see, draw the countersinks and everything on this program. So this will just slip down in there, and then the screw, you countersink it, and the screw will hold that in. On some of the softer things, we may have to, I may have to actually bond it in if I were to make something softer like leather. These are some of the color schemes that I've come up with. This is just a brushed brush stainless on a or a satin stainless on a satin stainless blade with carbon fiber in it. This is red with the carbon fiber. This one's my favorite. I like the contrast of black and silver on this. It's um, satin, stainless, satin stainless with a black leather inlay. I like the contrast on that one quite a bit. This one is a brown leather with a satin. I tried a few other colors and didn't see anything that really was nice as far as the um, outside of the scale. Not super spectacular in my opinion. I mean, it's nice looking, but... And then there's the bumblebee. And that one looks kind of good. That's probably my third favorite. I like the black and I like the black and silver. And then this one is number two, probably my favorite. And then I think this would be a number three. <clears throat> this is a walnut piece of walnut inlaid in the satin stainless. And then this is a full carbon fiber scale with no inlay. It's just a solid piece. This is actually the first thing that I drew, intending it to be made out of micarta, which I already have some of, and I just, I'm sure will be the first scale I make is this one out of micarta, just a solid piece of one eighth inch thick micarta. And then this one, I was just thinking you know, about just a solid piece of leather on there but it would have to be bonded down to something to give it rigidity maybe a piece of brass or a piece of aluminum or something or a little thin piece of steel bond that on there so that it would make it rigid I don't know how good that would of an idea that would be maybe more of a novelty than an actual good idea anyway check the links or check the links in the description if you want to check these out. They will open up in your browser and you can zoom in and zoom out and rotate them around and look at anything uh, that you want to look at again. Take care and have a great day.